Hi everybody, this is Gavin the Builder. Today I'm going to be showing you T flip flops. It's a type of redstone circuit that works a lot like a toggle, but it uses a button instead. If you don't like levers or levers, I totally support your anti-lever agenda and uh, this circuit will make it so you don't ever have to use them again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make five different T flip flops and at the end I'm going to give two examples on how to use them. This is the first T flip flop circuit. I'm just going to show you what it looks like once it's already made and uh, you can review the video and figure out how to make it for yourself. But uh, it works just by pushing the button and there's a repeater that goes towards uh, the light and then here's another repeater that goes towards the lights. And then, all right, this is the other side. All right, and that's the first one, and it works really great. This is the second T flip flop. Uh, works like this: you push the buttons, and there are two sticky pistons in there. As you can see, there's a repeater. There's another repeater that goes to the sticky piston, and then under here is a redstone torch and here is the other side and then you have a sticky piston under here so it works really good all right here's another T flip-flop that uses pistons I don't really like using pistons in my own map because if you do an adventure map and a player hears a piston uh, they're going to think that a door unlocked or something unlocked and then they're going to try to go find it. Uh, so it's kind of misleading to use pistons. Push the button and the regular pistons will push that block which will activate uh, one of the two lights. If you look on the back side it just works like this. Uh, there's a redstone torch here and there's a redstone torch down here. So it's really simple to make. You don't need the repeaters, I just put the repeaters here so it didn't interfere with this other redstone going to the other torch. This is the fourth T flip flop. Um, it works just like the other ones, it just uh, has one light output. Uh, you have redstone, you have a repeater going away from that block, uh, coming around, you have another repeater, goes into this repeater which is going into this block, and then you have the torch over here and this is your light. So really simple to make. Uh, this is the fifth and last uh, T flip flop that I'm going to be showing in the video. It's pretty simple to make. You have uh, redstone dust next to this block that has a torch attached to it. These two repeaters are pointed towards me. This repeater is towards that one. And then this goes into the block. Put a uh, redstone torch up here and redstone dust. So, super simple. Alright, this is my first example of how to use a T flip flop. Uh, this is a really basic house. I have the circuit hooked up to a pressure plate and when you walk in, it turns the lights on. And when you walk out, it turns the lights off. So underneath here you can see the uh, circuitry and then I put a floor over it. Alright, this is the first half of the second example of how to use T flip-flops. Uh, this is a really simple combination lock uh, using levers. All you have to do to get the light block to turn on is uh, turn on the levers in the right order. The light block could be anything you wanted. Uh, it could be a door circuit, it could be a hidden staircase, but uh, this is just a simple example. And these two are the ones that you need to throw to get the light block to turn on. And uh, it's really simple, it's just a block with a torch. And once the torch has been depowered, uh, throws this and we'll throw the uh, light block on. You can use T flip flops to make the combo lock a little bit more challenging. Uh, using buttons, people can't see uh, whether they've already thrown a switch or if they uh, need to throw something. So they either have to kind of remember or you have to write them a book that tells them the combination. In this, I used the first piston T flip-flop that I showed you uh, to make three different buttons. When the buttons are pressed, they will either activate or deactivate this redstone. 
and I put this redstone here so this will actually be activated when the T flip flop is pressed and you need to have at least one of these otherwise somebody will run along and just hit all three buttons and uh, the door will open and it will activate this really simple door that I made uh, the other thing I added was a reset which is this button and this is just a really simple redstone going over the pistons and it just resets them all alright so the locking mechanism will work like this turn that one on you leave that one alone and turn that one on and your door is open you can even put another reset on the other side so once you get through you can push it and it will close the door behind you alright thanks for watching if you use anything in the video please let me know I'd love to hear how you incorporate T flip flops in your own map uh, if you think my examples suck let me know in the comments and if you need to see something more in depth or you want a better explanation on how something works you know leave that in the comments too and I'll, I'll post another video